We are joining famous Ryan in Pinelands today for a inversion lining. Time to suit up so we can social distance. Hey guys, cool oh, outfits. Arriving with the heavy artillery, the Picot cannon and the Picot Miller. An initial camera inspection shows a very sad looking drain. There are solid concrete deposits on the floor and just years of buildup. The first step is to move all the loose debris along using high pressure jetting. This way we can get a better visual on what is actually wrong. Once we've moved all the sand and stones out of the line, we can go in with the Maxi Miller. We're using a flare chain here with cobar teeth that will cut through the concrete like butter. This chain is quite brutal, so it will eat through the concrete, but it's suited to the 110 pipe size, so it will preserve the integrity of the actual drain. The concrete comes out quite easily in this drain. Bringing in the jet again, just to move the heavy stuff. Uh, Maxi has eaten through the concrete that was sitting on the floor of the drain. We just need to move it along with the jet to bring it to the manhole so we can get some hands on it and pull it out the drain. Preparation is the most important part of the job. like we can probably build a house with all the concrete that's coming out of there. Once the drain is clear, we can start preparing the inversion liner, which will give the line a structural repair. drop sheeting to prevent epoxy from spreading onto surfaces while we work and mix a one hour curing epoxy that will be poured into the inverted liner and then rolled to absorb into the fabric as much as possible. The liner goes into the Picot cannon keeping in mind that the liner is inside out it's like a sock that has been turned inside out and we use pressure to turn it back the other way and then the epoxy from the inside is turned to the outside and in contact with the actual drain wall the beauty is that the application process is super clean and the pressure will keep the structural integrity of the new line. What's nice about that is, because it's so soft there, you can take a blade and cut it, and then we can just take the maxi water sanding disc, sand it down, yeah. sand it down, yeah. sand it down. Yeah. Once the epoxy has cured, Ryan just sticks his hand in there to double check that we are good to go. And we are safe to go in there. We have a new hardened pipe once the epoxy has cured. The saturated fabric walls of this liner have cured to form a nice hard pipe within the old pipe. And now we can cut the end bit off. The line does not need to be pressurized anymore now that it is cured, so we can cut the little end cap off and open the drain. We use a cutting drill head on the Maxi Miller to drill this piece out. And the drain is open for business. Like new again.